Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And we have a Harry and Meghan story. And as you all know, I love these stories because I absolutely loathe this pair. And so I launch into them in an absolute series of bitchy comments. Because why not? They're the ones who put their heads above the parapet. They're the ones who deserve it. They're the poor little rich kids, aren't they? Look at me, look at me. My life is terrible. Yes, it must be awful going to Eton and living in palaces. I wouldn't know, mate. And then there's her. Oh, yes, look at me. I'm a multimillionaire actress with lives in L.A. and I've got friends here, there and everywhere. Actually, I suspect you've got no friends whatsoever. But anyway, they have Team Sussex. Um, and Team Sussex is their brand. Uh, and so it was supposed to be their, their pathway to from rags to riches, or at least from palaces to slightly larger palaces or whatever. Um, and anyway, it's not quite working out as well as they thought. Uh, Spotify's dropped them. The marketing executive there told them in no uncertain terms what he thought about them. Um, Netflix are saying that the deal's fine, the deal's wonderful, but you have to wonder, is that just Hollywood speak for we can't wait to get rid of these two? Um, they're starting to do a lot of things separately. There's the parting of the ways, of course, uh, which is unusual for her because normally with her it'd be the parting of the legs. Uh, no, no, that's unnecessary, David. You know, you know, God bless her and all the many men who've sailed in her. Um, but yeah, uh, she stays at the big house. He takes himself off to uh, the hotel just outside Monty Shit Show. And uh, they, they're living kind of semi-separate lives. Wonder if they're sleeping together. Well, they're probably sleeping with people, but just not each other. Who knows? Uh, she definitely would be, I think. She'd, she'd jump at the chance. Um, she'd jump at anything, wouldn't she? Uh, him, not so much maybe, but uh, he probably likes to have someone to rub the cream on the end of his very sore uh, and tiny ginger knob. Uh, but, you know, that's who they are. That's who they choose to be. But she's been advised that she needs to dump him uh, if she wants to save her uh, very short remaining time as uh, any kind of career. Uh, she's getting on, you know. She's in her 50s now and uh, life isn't kind to uh, women like that in, in Hollywood. So she has a very short window in which to do anything. But, of course... They've got a split. So she's basically going to have to step aside from the inbred German halfwit. And he, of course, is going to have to step aside from the well-used ageing yacht girl. But we'll take a look at this piece, see what's going on and see what the advice has been and what they're going to do in the future. Here goes. So Meghan Markle told she must ditch Prince Harry if she wants to save her career. What career? What has she done? She had a few episodes in Suits and that's about it. Then she's married a couple of times. Only ever dated white people, you know that. She only became black when it became fashionable. She was white, past as white, her whole life. All of a sudden, oh, it's fashionable, can be black now. Great, oh. And the next thing you know, she's um, the blackest person in Hollywood. It's an amazing transference, you know. It's like, it's like the anti-Michael Jackson, you know. Anyway, uh, the Duchess has been warned she has no future with Prince Harry and must act now if she wants to salvage what is left of her working life. Um, you could just stop that uh, that sentence after the word future, couldn't you? The Duchess has been warned that she's got no future, basically. Markle has been advised she has no future working alongside Prince Harry and needs to do it alone to save her career. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex suffered a huge loss last month after their lucrative Spotify deal came to an end after just one season of Meghan's Archetypes podcast, where she got a staffer to ask questions of people and then she'd voice in afterwards and it was cut in and it sounded awful and they, you know, nobody really listened. And they were very, it's hard, work's hard, isn't it? Especially hard when you're never used to doing anything. Uh, after being dumped from the digital music streaming giant and dumped by quite a few men prior to that, Speculation has grown over what the couple will do for the next project. Divorce, hopefully. Uh, with an insider claiming that Meghan's team have told her to go solo because he is holding her back. The insider told Closer magazine her team have warned her that there's no future with Harry and that she needs to start working on her individual projects rather than being seen as one half of Brand Sussex. She's not even half, is she? Uh, they feel that if Meghan does more on her own, she'll have more opportunities to save her career. What career? What is she doing? What can she do? I don't want to listen to her interview people about how hard it is to be her. You know, it's all me, 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 Meghan, isn't it? Um, anyway, it's, they said it will give them breathing room and restore confidence, or at least that's the hope. Well, it'll give him an opportunity to get on a plane, fly home and say, and say sorry, Dad, she's a bitch. Or however he would say that to his father. So, Your Majesty, she's a bitch. That would, technically, that would be how it is. 
Anyway, in a joint state, I'm wondering. He's a royal prince, but she's not a royal princess. She'd have to curtsy to him, wouldn't she? In terms of protocol. Hmm. I'll have to try that one with me wife. Uh, anyway, a joint statement was released by Spotify and the couple's company Archwell to announce the end of their contract, which is stated to have been a mutual agreement. Mutual, as in the company said, look, we're going to give you a chance to say it's a mutual agreement, but there's no way you're staying. Get out of my office, right? But we'll give you the face saver. Say it was mutual. That was basically what it was. Uh, however, things weren't quite as amicable as they seemed. It's just one day later, the head of podcast innovation and monetization at Spotify, Bill Simmons, said uh, that he branded the couple as fucking grifters. Well, colour me surprised at that. Anyway, in a foul mouth vent, but accurate, the boss said, that's the podcast we should have launched with them. I said, I've got to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories. Somebody's got to have the ideas because you do know Harry is absolutely mentally retarded. The guy is a moron. He got, an, he got a degree in art, right? <laughs> he didn't do any of the work. He had to get the tutors to do the work and he only got a gentleman's degree, a third barely a degree it's a basically it's an a-level for dummies uh, but in art he could finger door we did a few finger daubs and then sort of lied about it saying well it was a reflection on my upbringing where everything was done for me or some crap like that because he hasn't got the intelligence he probably had to have someone sharpen the pencils for him uh, anyway his remarks apparently left Megan distraught oh go figure uh, according to one insider, she said she can't believe she's been attacked so viciously and so publicly by one of their execs. Love, you need to get out more because I tell you what, if you went down the pub and listened to how people talk about you, oh, shocked, shocked, you'd be in a coma. Anyway, they added, it served as a brutal reality check that things do not uh, do really need to change to save their popularity. Popularity? They've never been popular. They were popular for about three weeks after the marriage, right? That was it. And then the mouths. Then the mouths started. She didn't like it. Oh, she didn't like it. And that was it. They're, they're off. But he'll be back. He'll be back with his tail and tiny penis between his legs. And he'll be begging Daddy for somewhere to live. And, you know, lick his wounds. I'm not going to make a joke about that. Uh, and then he'll get on with it. Um, but hopefully out of public sight and never to be seen again. Anyway, the couple still have their Netflix deal in place with the streaming giant confirming that the company still deeply values their partnership with the Duke and Duchess. But that doesn't that doesn't amount to a confirmation that they're not, you know, that they're keeping them or not. A spokesman for Netflix squashed rumours. I think he made, they mean quashed. It's quashed rumours uh, that they were planning to axe their deal. Telling Entertainment Tonight, the bond with Archwell Productions is one we deeply value. Harry and Meghan launched at next, as Netflix's most spectacular documentary debut to date. Spectacular doesn't mean popular. Uh, and he hasn't said that they're keeping them. They're very, very clever with the words. They haven't confirmed that they're retaining them. And I think that'll be the next one to go. And boy, boy, do I really want that one to be the next one to go. I want to see their entitled little faces crumble. As they're told, now nah, we're out, mate. We're out. We're going. You're rubbish. Go and work somewhere else. He's going to have to get a job in Asda. You know that. Um, he can stack the shelves if he can spell peas and get the, you know, got to get the bits at the front. Don't, you know, probably take a few times to learn. What can she do? Well, she can go back to her old job, you know, down by the docks. Anyway, I shall round off and I shall come up and we shall finish this video. You know, uh, when I think that she used to work on suits, uh, it was all about lawyers, or as we call them in Britain, solicitors. Um, and I thought oh, that's excellent training, really, because, you know, she's got a perfect role there working for a firm of solicitors. She's got an awful lot of experience, you know, soliciting. Um, and so, it, it, you know, she could bring that to the role, apparently. But anyway, I think they're finished. I think they won't be together much longer. They start doing separate projects. It starts like that. Separate projects. And then one goes that way, one goes that way. Next thing you know, the marriage is over. He's home. Divorce is put in. Of course, he'll have to bring the kids home because those kids don't belong to her. They belong to the King of England. And that, or the King of Britain. 
and that will be a difficult thing to deal with. I'm sure the Americans won't want a diplomatic incident. Can't wait to see what happens with that. That is going to be a court case that runs and runs and runs. Anyway, I'll finish there. That's enough of those two losers. Let's move on to my next video, which I'm coming up in a minute. But this is going to this is going to be a nasty summer, I think. These two, as they start doing their separate things, I think there's going to be tensions, and I do foresee that the breakup will happen within the next 12 months. Hold me to it. Anyway. I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen here in the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. And whatever you do, don't sleep with Meghan Markle. I know there's only about half a country left I can say that to, but please stop it. And goodbye.